I demand to see my brother. Lay hands upon me, and you will lose them. You there! The territory of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Speaking of the tribunal, you have the smell of dog about you. I wonder why that is. Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Well, perhaps we can aid each other this day, Outlander. Ashlanders are nomads, but we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But these outcasts won't let me into their camp. I need to find my brother. My brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma, and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the tribes to follow his lead. Head into the Red Exile's camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. Be wary of the outcasts. As you saw, they won't hesitate to attack without reason or provocation. No, just our tribe, the Urshilaku. Though he's respected by most of the other Ashlanders for his wisdom and strength of will. He does hope to unite the tribes in a common cause, however. That's one of the reasons we've gathered here at Aldrin. My brother and I have always worked to help our people, and improve the Ashlander way of life. He used to believe that peaceful negotiation was the best path to accomplish this. Recently, however, things have become different. He's almost like... No. That's not something I'm ready to talk about with an outsider. Perhaps after you prove your trustworthiness and willingness to help us, then we can discuss my brother in more detail. Perhaps. That's not our goal, but the tribes will defend themselves if necessary. No, we hope to present a united front and show the houses the folly of the path they've embarked upon. Turning away from our forefathers and god ancestors has made them weak. The Red Exiles. They're violent, dangerous Sashlanders who were banished from their tribes and joined together to create their own clan. Chodala invited them to the gathering and went into the camp to talk, but he's been gone too long. I'm worried. As you saw, Hostility is second nature to the Red Exiles. We're here to negotiate, but they're no better than thieves and murderers. If they spot you in their camp, you'll need to defend yourself. It's unfortunate, but they'll leave you no choice.
You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Did you find my brother? Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh no. I can't believe my brother would be so... brazen. It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found it among my brother's possessions. Chodala discovered new power out in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes about it in that document. Now he believes he's a Nerevarian and incites the tribes while I tried to keep them all from doing anything rash. You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander. And the house elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the tribunal, before they claimed to be gods. Until they betrayed him. So our legends say, Nerevar united the Kaima and forged an alliance with the Dwema. He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. We believe the Tribunal hastened his demise, despite Vivek's claims to the contrary. The Nerevering is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. The returned Nerevar will be known as the Nerevering. While the prophecy of the Nerevering can be interpreted as the end of the Tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. Chodala and some Ashlanders, such as the Red Exiles, favor war. That's not the Nerevering I believe in. He uses an Ashkon's words to plant dark ideas in his followers. Ideas that speak of false gods, lost traditions, and the need for a cleansing war. His words become more forceful every day, but I hope to dissuade him from this violent course. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodala returned from a sojourn in the wilderness more vibrant, more commanding, He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible, and swifter than the fastest Ashlander scout. Chodala says his new abilities strengthen his claim as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned, and now it's always at his side. I know it's unreasonable, but I hate that staff. He calls it Sunara.
frustration after another. Such displeasure and disappointment. Nothing works, even though every calculation is precise. Now an interruption. How infuriating. Wait, wait. Sometimes the great gear turns from frustration to opportunity. Divine energy. I'll have you know I participated in Lord Sotha Seal's nine analyses of the exalted enigmas. But we have more important matters. I'm about to determine the correlation between color and time, and I could use another set of hands. A reciprocal exchange. Interesting, yes. I can see the benefits of such an arrangement. Very well. Just activate the crystals in the proper sequence while I modulate the energy flow. Less chance of an explosion that way. Such a waste repeating words. Activate the crystals in the proper order. It's all about colors, like a rainbow. Make a mistake and reset the mechanism using that lever, unless it explodes. Set the mechanism and try again. Smoke and 
instead of light. Not the reaction I was hoping for. I did it, but not in the proper sequence. Try again. but not in the proper sequence. Try again. A good start. Keep going. No, no, no. Reset the mechanism and try again. Benefits of an extra set of appendages. The energy flows freely and without disruption, allowing the rods and the pistons to align in a most pleasing manner. <laughs> Thank you. Now, why do you want to know about divine energy? Scent. How intriguing. I was just thinking about my former master, Sotha Seal, and the experiments we conducted. He desperately sought to understand the power he and his companions attained, especially whether or not that power was temporary. Not while I assisted him. He had a tool that he used to drain away minute bits of his own divine energy to store and study. He could extract it and return it as he saw fit. Not sure what became of the tool, but here are my notes from those days. More questions? Well, Lord Sofa Seal attributed curiosity to intellectual superiority. Suppose I should do the same. Ask, and I will attempt to tighten the cogs of your ongoing education as best I can. Odd question. Is a hammer a weapon? A saw? A Dwemer spring spanner? No, it was just a tool. A device crafted by Sotha Seal to aid in his endless experiments. I suppose I could imagine ways to modify the device, but for what reason? Hmm. Haven't a clue. Tools have a way of wandering off when you don't stay vigilant. I had a guar that used to swallow tools when I wasn't looking. Glowed for a month until the enchantment dissipated and the tool passed. Should have heard the screams. I was his apprentice, but that was years ago. Spent time working in the Clockwork City. That's what I learned about energy transference, Dwemer engineering, mechanical symmetry. Made me the Dark Elf I am today. I have a question. Who sent you? The Arch Canon, Lord Vivek's High Priest. Suddenly the gears align. I can think of a number of reasons that Alm and V would want to know about C and his tools, but some doors just shouldn't be opened. He's the father of mysteries, and the architect of time, one of the tribunal, the three living gods of the Dark Elves, creates all sorts of helpful and intriguing devices, like the Clockwork City. I haven't seen my old master in many years. It's a wonder and a miracle. All brass tunnels, glass domes, and giant gears. He was inspired by the work of the Dwemer. The Clockwork City is pure Sotha Seal. <laughs> he made it to forge the future and reshape the world. I learned a lot there. Outlander, over here! This requires a considerable amount of effort, so just listen. We have a problem here. Return to my office immediately.
<laughs> you will prime only pays if I get a cut, Swit. Remember that for next time. Pleasure doing business. Stand aside! Lord Vivek is expecting me! Lord Vivek isn't receiving visitors today. At last, did you see what's happening outside? Red Mountain rumbles louder and more frequently. The sky grows dark, and worst of all, the people are beginning to notice. Soon I'll have to muster the Ordinators to keep them from the palace doors. In part, Lord Vivek is... not well. I won't allow his followers to see him in this state. He continues to lose energy, and it's becoming difficult for him to maintain the realm in his usual fashion. Now, what did your investigations uncover? I'll review these documents and present your findings to Lord Vivek. I was against bringing you into this investigation, but I was wrong. Thank you for aiding us. You should go see Lord Vivek now. He's been asking about you. I'll be along shortly. Very well. Tell me what you learned at each of the locations, and let's see what conclusions we can come to. Berelzar faithfully served Sotha Seal. He's as loyal to the Tribunal as I am. He would never intentionally harm Lord Vivek. But that tool he mentioned. Perhaps one of the priests Vivek sent away could search the temple archives for more information. Lord Vivek doesn't want his followers to see him in such a weakened state. Only you, Canon Levuel, and myself are permitted into his palace now. Speaking of the palace, Lord Vivek wants to see you when we're done here. So your notes say, and this Saren assisted you. Interesting. Most Ashlanders want nothing to do with the Tribunal. Even so, they rarely become aggressive. I'd say this Chodala bears watching. If we can spare it, I'll send an armager to order it. Interesting theory. Perhaps Chodala's staff can steal Vivek's energy. I have a hard time imagining how an Ashlander could accomplish such a feat. Lord Vivek said the draining has grown more intense since you left. It doesn't look well. From what you discovered, I dare say there may be a correlation between the narcotic relic and the tool Barrelzal mentioned. And it seems the Ashlander thieves are connected to Chodala. Your evidence points to a clear conclusion. So it appears. Lord Vivek's doing his best not to complain, but I can see how much the draining of his energy has cost him. Just seeing you again should improve his mood considerably. And the progress you made with your investigations, outstanding. Is it true they summoned Balre to defeat the Daggerfall army at Darwin's Watch? Lord Vivek needs to do something! Look at that sky! Lord Vivek isn't receiving visitors today. My lord, please let me send for aid. Perhaps one of the healers can help you. Pain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th ballad.
There must be something I can do. You can call the Arch Cannon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. The river drains into the sea as my divinity flows out of me. Need some work. As you can see, I continue to lose energy, and it has made me somewhat agitated. Have you made any progress toward discovering the source of my discomfort? An Ashlander? That seems unlikely, but I trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this Chodala and the ancient enemy that aids him. Take this. Another token of my appreciation. And look, here comes the Arch Cannon now. My lord, the Outlander may have actually discovered something. After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander Chodala has somehow siphoned divine energy away from Lord Vivek. Not exactly. But now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution. One that probably involves Chodala's staff. How the Ashlander got his hands on Sothasil's tool and turned it into a weapon is beyond me, though. Eventually. But we need to be cautious. If Chodala is as respected as you say, attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake in. Go to Aldrin and talk to his sister, Saren. I don't trust her either, but she worked with you before. Get to Aldrin and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodala and then help us acquire his staff. Without it, we can't restore Vivek. Meanwhile, I need to placate the populace. The people grow concerned over Vivek's continuing isolation. <laughs>